New this afternoon, the FBI says it's now offering thousands of dollars as a reward to help solve a horrific deadly shooting in Portland. Only on 12, we are about to hear from one of the surviving victims with his plea for justice. Fox 12's Kendra Kent joins us now live in studio with this interview. Kendra. Well, the father we spoke with lost his wife, the mother of his two little boys, and the killer is still out there. And more than a year later, the family still worries about their safety every single day. And because of that, we are not identifying the father or showing his face. With so many heartbreaking shootings in Portland, the violence sometimes all blurs together, seemingly countless tragedies that can be hard to keep track of. But not this one. Blink of an eye, my wife was gone. I was like, babe, 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 like, wake up, wake up. Just over a year ago, a young mother killed in her car in what police call a drive-by shooting. Her two small children also suffered gunshot wounds. And this father is lucky to be alive after he, too, was badly hurt in the gunfire. He had the gun, like, pointing up to my hand, like, shooting like this. When Portland police arrived at the Foster Plaza Apartments on a cold February night, the car was riddled with bullets. 25-year-old Adal Duop was dead. Her one-year-old son shot in the leg. Her five-year-old boy was shot in the arm. Her husband says he was shot in the arm, neck, face, and head. What we believe is the fact that this is yet another case here in Portland where a family now is in the wrong place at the wrong time and is victimized in the most horrible way. All of this after a simple trip to pick up groceries for this first generation immigrant family from Sudan and Somalia who are living out their American dream. When I look at my kids, I feel like I made it. When I look at my wife, I feel like I made it. I have a house, I have a car, I have a job. All of it shattered in just seconds. It's a nightmare. And for what? I asked that question a million times. Me and her, we had the same goals, same passion. She really liked kids. She liked people. She liked making you smile. She was really smart. She was attractive. She was beautiful. Their youngest son is just a toddler and doesn't understand that his mom is gone forever. <laughs> A year later, Portland police and the FBI are now determined to generate new leads and put a killer behind bars. We know that there are people out there that know who is responsible for this crime. The FBI on Thursday announcing a $25,000 reward for any new information that leads to an arrest and conviction in the deadly shooting. I want to look him in the eye. I want to talk to him for what he did to my wife and to me. The pursuit of justice bringing this young husband and father to share his heartbreaking grief in hopes of some help. If you guys can hear me, please, 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 from bottom to my heart, I want justice for my wife, I doubt do up. Not just for her, for her family, and for my kids. Now, we don't know much more about this case than we did a year ago, except that the suspect was driving a white SUV. This happened in February of 2022, around 1030 at night in the area of Southeast 128th and Foster. If you can help solve this case, call the FBI or Portland police. Now, we did put all of this information, including the phone number to call online at KPTV.com. Reporting live in studio, Kendra Kent, Fox 12 Oregon. Thank you.